Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can create this awesome wedding color grading effect in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and if it is the very first time to this channel, and you wanna learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom, and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I've created this wedding color grading effect in Photoshop. Now, this particular effect works well with all types of photos, but it works especially well when you're wanting to apply it to wedding style photos. So photos with maybe a predominantly uh, white kind of style, maybe like having a, a bride's uh, wedding dress, or maybe with something with less muted tones in it. Uh, so do take that into consideration when you are wanting to apply this effect. Now, if you'd like to have a look at any of the pre-selected photos uh, that I find work really well with this effect, and it'll be the same photo that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description. But without further ado, guys, let's get started. Right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And today, I'll be choosing this photo, which I found on unsplash.com, and the link will be in the description. So what we want to do today is to create nice and beautiful muted tones in the image. And we can do this simply by creating just a few adjustment layers. And I'll be showing you how to do that today. So what you want to do is first you want to go to uh, your layers panel and then you just want to make sure that you haven't got any extra layers in this particular photo. As this is a, a JPEG, there are no extra layers. So what we want to do is go down to our adjustment layers icon and the first one we want to go ahead is select is selective color, which is the one right at the bottom. So once we've selected that, what it will do is it will break it down. You've got a new kind of a preset panel here and you can click on this colors and it breaks down into a bunch of different color bands. And today we want to be fixing the yellows and the reds. So we'll go ahead and select reds first. We want to go into the cyan section and we want to reduce the amount of cyan in the reds by minus 50. And what this will do is it'll just fix most of the skin tones in the image and just brighten them up. And we also want to go into the yellows because reds and yellows are both found in skin tones. And again, we also want to reduce the amount of cyan. And what this will do is it will just boost up the amount of uh, vibrancy within the skin tones. Right. So once we've done that, this is where we swap wanted to color grade the photo and create this nice muted tone. So what we want to do now is go ahead to hue and saturation. So we go down to our adjustment layers again, guys, and we want to go up to hue and saturation. Now, very similar to the selective color layer, this again is split up into a bunch of different color bands. And we can find these color bands by clicking on master. And as you can see, they are broken down up here. So what we want to do is go into our yellows and this is where we want to start playing around with the amount of colors and the brightness of the colors. So in our saturation for the yellows, what we want to do is reduce this down by minus 70, but we also want to increase the lightness of yellow by 50. And what this will do is it will kind of brighten up the background and it will again, it will create this nice muted tone, but we'll need to add a few more layers to this particular hue and saturation layer. So we'll go into our yellows and we'll go back to our greens again. So again, click on master. We're going to go and select from yellow. We want to go to select from green. And again, we want to reduce the amount by minus 70, very similar to the yellows. And again, we want to increase the lightness by 50. So as you can see in this particular photo, if we turn it before and after, it's created this nice kind of muted tones and they look really nice, especially with wedding photography, just due to the colors that you find at weddings. Right, so again, we just want to go to our cyans and we want to reduce this by minus 70, but we want to leave the lightness as it is. And then again, we want to go to the blues and we just want to reduce this by minus 20. Lovely. So once you've done that, this is where we want to start adding in some warm tones because we've removed quite a lot of the colors. So now we want to start replacing them by adding a new hue and saturation layer. So what we want to do is go down to our uh, adjustment layers icon and we want to go where you can see it says color balance. So we'll go ahead and select color balance. So in the shadows, so we can split them into diff three different types of tones. You've got shadows, midtones, and highlights. And we can choose them by clicking on here. So we'll go ahead and select shadows. And what we want to do is increase the amount of reds and the amount of yellows. And we can do this just by changing two sliders. So we've got our slider here. What we'll do is we'll just increase the reds by five. 
And then we can see we increase the yellows. So what you'll need to do is to click a negative number. So we'll select minus five for that. And then again, what we'll do is we'll just go into the highlight. So again, select where it says tone, go down to where it says highlights. And then you want to go just increase the amount of red. So we'll increase it by five. And then we'll go, and go into yellows. Now remember, yellow is a minus number. So what we're gonna do is just select minus 10. And again, that will change the uh, yellows to add more yellow into the photo. Lovely, so if we do the before and after of that, as you can see, the tones are really starting to work. But there's just two more layers I want to add to this particular effect. So what we're gonna do is go down to our adjustment layers again, guys, and we want to go to color lookup. Now in color lookup files, you've got these LUT files, which they stand for lookup tables. And they're a way of creating kind of filters in Photoshop. And you've got a bunch of free filters available or free lookup tables. So we'll go ahead to our 3D lookup tables or LUTs. We'll click on the load. And what we want to do is go to the one where it says drop blues. And again, this kind of does what it describes. It finds any blues in the photos and just reduces the saturation. But it creates this nice kind of flattened look which I really, really like. And that's the difference between creating an adjustment layer and creating a lookup table. So once we've done that, there's one more layer I think I want to add. And I think I'm going to add a photo filter. Now photo filters are great if you're wanting to add in a consistent color throughout the entire image. So what we're gonna do is go down to our adjustment layers icon and we're gonna go up to where you can see it says photo filter. Now, very similar to the 3D LUT files, they found a bunch of free presets. So if you go and click filter, if we click on it, as you can see, it's broken into a bunch of free filters, which Photoshop will give you for free. So again, we can choose all of these. I find for this particular one, I find red works quite nicely. But if you're going for more of a kind of yellowy, orangey tone, you could obviously change that there. So we've got red and then we can just flick it to orange. Now, if you do find it a little bit too strong, as I often find the uh, photo filters are a bit too strong for most photos, all you need to do is reduce the density. So we've got 25% there. I like reducing it down to between 10 and 20%. So I find about 15% works really nice if you do the before and after and it's a real nice subtle way of adding in colors there we go so if what we're going to do is we're just going to group all of these adjustment layers that we've just created so we're going to go to the very top one we're going to go to the very bottom one and then we're going to press command g and what command g will do is it'll just group all of those particular layers that you've selected into one single group and you can name that group and i'm going to name it edits like so lovely so we can see the before and after and brilliant i am really liking this wedding effect and there we go guys brilliant and there we go guys so that is how you can create this really unique wedding style color grading effect in photoshop Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. Also, guys, if you'd like to pick up this uh, action or any other action or preset that I've made on this channel, either go and check out my Etsy account or go check out my new Patreon account where you can support me in doing what I love. But until next time, guys, keep creating. Yeah.